We all know that taking transit is 100 times more fun when you're out and about with your friends. Today, we're going to talk about taking transit with your four-legged friend. For the safety and enjoyment of your pet, as well as everyone else on board, VTA requires that your pet be inside an appropriate travel container, such as a portable crate or properly ventilated carrying case while riding our bus or light rail trains. The only exception to this rule is for working service animals or service animals in training that perform important health and safety functions for their human companions. Meet Reba. She's a Chihuahua and my BFF. When I bring Reba on board a VTA vehicle, she rides in this lightweight traveling container. This is because she's not a service animal or a service animal in training. When you board a VTA train or bus, the operator may ask if your animal is a service animal. If it is not, you will not be allowed to board unless your furry friend is in an appropriate carrier. In general, an enclosed pet carrier that does not block the aisle and can be placed on your lap will be permitted on board. Whether you are traveling with a service animal or a pet in a container, it is important that you take care of any business and see to their comfort prior to boarding. We all understand that accidents can happen, but if they do, please alert the operator as soon as safe to do so. Please remember you are responsible for your animal's behavior at all times. You may love Fido's falsetto, but if Fido is creating a disturbance, the operator may ask you to deboard the vehicle. Just as I enjoy traveling on VTA with Reba, we hope you feel welcome and safe riding VTA with your BFF by following the simple rules we've shared with you today. If you have any questions or concerns relating to service animals or pets on VTA, buses, or light rail, please visit www.vta.org or call 408-321-2300. Thanks for riding VTA.